philosophical sense, the Lord is unchanging. He is beyond any change that characterizes this world. But the Lord changes because he wants to reciprocate with the love of his devotees. And here, what, is, what happens is, it is the same Krishna who has an extremely attractive form. He is so attractive that he is called as Madan Mohan. Kandarpa Koti Kamaniya Vishesh Shobham. Millions of cupids get attracted and stunned by his beauty. And yet that Krishna, when he is in Dwarka, he is longing for being with the Brajivasis, feeling separation from their love. And at that time, when there is the recitation of the pastimes of Vrindavan that happens in Dwarka, the Dwarka Vasis want to know. The Dwarka Vasis want to know what happens in Vrindavan. Why is Krishna so attracted to it? And then there's one associate who has been in Vrindavan and has also been in Dwarka. Who is that? Rohini. Yes. And Rohini starts describing the pastimes. And they make sure that Krishna is not there because they know Krishna will be immensely affected when he hears about the devotees. But somehow, although Krishna has been sent away, Krishna somehow, you know, he just gets the, gets the sniff, gets the hang of it, and just comes running back. And when the pastimes are being described, as Krishna remembers those pastimes, Krishna, by hearing them, now he's internally always remembering them, but you know, when there is an external reinforcement of an inner perception or an inner recollection, there is greater impact. And Krishna becomes so immersed. Now sometimes, say when we are concentrating on something, and you know, they say we are trying to hear a talk, and maybe the person next to us starts talking on their phone. We say, stop, don't talk. If the door opens, we might get a little annoyed. Now, of course, if we are bored with the talk, we are annoyed that the door is not opening. <laughs> we want some disturbance. <laughs> but Either way, the, the point is when we want to be absorbed in something, we want to remove all distractions. So we may try to remove distractions by, by making external changes. That's why I mean, nowadays you can watch, all, if somebody wants to watch a movie, they can watch a movie at home on streaming services. But still people pay a big amount of money and go to movies. Why? Because they want immersion. They want absorption. Of course, that's absorption and illusion which is not very helpful. But people want to be absorbed in it. Now, we make external changes. What is that? Okay, turn off the lights. No distraction. And we don't want in the theatre people talking with each other. You know, silence. We want to watch the movie. Now, when the Lord wants to immerse himself by his omnipotence, it is not just that the external distractions go away, but actually even internal distractions go away. What that means is, when he's hearing, at that time there are physical transformations. You know, anything that can be a potential for distraction, that is withdrawn. Now, for example, we're sitting, maybe you're sitting on the floor and it's not very comfortable. Or maybe you're sitting on a chair and it's too comfortable. You're falling asleep because of that. Whichever way. Now, our physical limbs, sometimes can be a source of discomfort. So what happens with, with Krishna is that he doesn't want any distraction. So the limbs, see there are the Jnanendriyas are taking in. You know, he's actually hearing, but while he's hearing, that the information is coming in. At that time, the Karmendriyas will come in the way. The Karmendriyas are the action performing senses. So, so, so that they don't come in the way, the Karmendriyas are withdrawn inside. And that's why Jagannath seems to be at one level uh, incompletely formed deity. But he's not incompletely formed, he's transcendentally formed. He is transcendentally transformed. So the form of Jagannath reveals how
the form of jagannath reveals how the lord himself in order to remember the law to remember and relish the past times the law of his devotees or with his devotees he gets transformed and so his eyes they're so big all his senses they are transformed in such a way that the immersion becomes maximum so jagannath manifests something extraordinary i said in the vedic tradition what does jagannath manifest jagannath manifests there are so many forms of the divine but jagannath is the only form of the divine that is transformed by the love of the devotee that there is the form of krishna there is the form of ram there is the form of narasimha narasimha we could say is a divine transformed but that is that is not so much due to the love of a devotee it is the love of devotee but it is more the conditions required to uh, kill the demon who is persecuting his devotee but jagannath his speciality is it is demonstrating that jagan or rather jagannath's form specifically it demonstrates how the lord is transformed by the devotee's love so that loving relationship between the lord and the devotee is the supreme reality by the devotees love so this is in this lord jagannath is unique and now of course we know in the story of maharaj indradyumna the lord arranged that he wanted to have he had vishwakarma come and make the deities but then he got transcendentally impatient and that architect had said you know you should not disturb me when i'm making the deities and then he couldn't hear any sound now why was it that the sound stopped coming and why was it that he became so impatient he said you know the body should be tolerant the body should be patient but he became impatient and he, he barged in and then the result was that the lord the deity is seemed to be again incompletely formed so the deity of jagannath it seems incomplete incompletely formed but actually that's a superficial perception it is the deity is transcendentally formed or transcendentally transformed so he was aghast because the architect left and he was told that he thought what have i done because of my impatience i have ruined this whole manifestation of the lord as a deity and then a celestial voice appeared and spoke to him saying that this deity has this is the eternal form of the lord so again the lord here transformed the devotee's heart with impatience so that what would be incomplete what would normally seem incomplete would become complete so the isho prishad says om purnam adah purnam idam that the lord is complete and everything comes from him is also complete now how was this incomplete form complete this incompletely sculptured form was complete because it is a manifestation of a transcendental love so this is a uniqueness of the form of jagannath within the vedic tradition